Hello viewer, Mr. Monkey Moto here today. We are doing the Everide Challenge 2016. So, what that is, is pretty much anyone who has a uh, track-ish kind of area around their home, a uh, trail that they like doing, their most popular, you know, most their, their, their favorite trail that kind of makes a loop. Um, make a race out of it, see how fast you can do it. Uh, for me, I have recorded the kilometers, so I will, uh, yeah, I'll record the kilometers and then uh, I'll see how fast I can do it, but obviously I'll be recording as well, uh, just to get that video uh, footage, and then uh, I might be talking about something else, or try to talk about something else, uh, for me, riding and talking is pretty hard, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so we're starting off at zero kilometers on trip A, and uh, we'll see how far we can get. Alright, so, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about uh, hard enduro riders. Um, I myself enjoy enduro riding very, very much, and, uh, have nothing against them at all whatsoever. Hey, look at deer. Just standing there. Yeah. Welcome to Canada. So, uh, there's, there's a few guys actually in Kamloops that are, that are, uh, they have their own club, it's called Duo Sport BC, it's uh, probably one of the biggest clubs in British Columbia that have uh, just dual sport riders, and uh, very, you know, I've met a couple of the guys, very cool guys, um, I've also met a few other guys, and they're very particular on the details of enduro riding and just the dual sport club in general. Um, in my opinion, I don't agree with these guys, um, and I'll go into detail what what I'm talking about. But uh, now, me and uh, Tink have had had a couple interactions with some of these guys, and. Um, they're very arrogant. Very arrogant. Uh, I don't like talking down about down to people a lot, but man, like I don't. Uh, there's a lot of things that these guys say and agree with, and try and push that I don't agree with. And it's just, it's not. In my opinion, it's just not right, especially with the motorcycle community being people more my age in their 20s, kind of. Uh, starting out now because uh, it is such a big thing to be a part of the adventure uh, biking club but no it's uh, for them it's like if you don't own a $22,000 KTM 990R you are a piece of crap okay you shouldn't you're not you're not doing adventure anything <laughs> and uh, Everite had a really good video actually explaining this in detail. Oh, look, a tree. That wasn't here before. Um, and uh, so he had this topic pretty, pretty well covered. Um, that was a hard bump. Yeah, so, uh, we've met a couple of these guys, and they, uh, yeah, they, I have a, 
I have a 250cc Honda, like I said, CRF250L, okay? So compared to a 990R, yeah, I wouldn't take this into, uh, you know, on the Baja 1000, as, you know, with that one, I probably could get away with it, right? So, um, I, uh, ooh, uh these ruts. So yeah, we started talking to these guys, and they, they just, uh, they didn't like us first off. Uh, Tink has a, he has a bigger bike, it's a 650, it's the same as mine except the one up, kind of dual sport bike, and uh, it's, it's the dual sport model, like, there's racing frames and stuff, but, yeah, so, anyways, uh, yeah, he kind of kind of started smacking me and tinker around like, oh, you guys should get real bikes if you kind of want to ride with us at all, right? And we're like, uh, what? And I'm like, you know, there's some dual sport groups I've been on. They're just like, dude, we don't really care what you ride. And actually, they weren't even dual sport groups. It was just motorcycle groups in general. They were like, we do not care what you ride. As long as it has two wheels and an engine, you're kind of part of the family, you know? And in my opinion... That's how it should be. <laughs> um, oh, jeez. Um, so, yeah. I'm definitely a part of some really cool groups with some really cool people. And, uh... I have a blast with these guys, you know? And, uh... And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh... Dual Sport BC. So these guys have an event. I'm not even sure when they have these events. It's like maybe uh, I want to say like once or twice a year. <laughs> I could be wrong completely, but could be wrong completely. But uh, yeah. So these guys get together not very often, but they have these huge events. Okay, and every one of these events are on private property, or, or uh, public property. Oh, the gate's not closed. <laughs> on public property, all right. And uh, they charge a fee. Okay, so what they have is they have merchandise, Dual Sport BC, this and that, T-shirts. This is where it gets rough. Sorry, guys. Kind of distracted. Uh, these guys have merchandise, which which is understandable. Uh, makes sense to me, right? Pay for the merchandise, but... Uh, woo! Yes, this trail's real. Believe me. Um. What was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Uh. Merchandise. Yes. They sell merchandise. They sell t-shirts and stuff like that. Awesome. Dang it, this gate's closed. Uh, give me two seconds. One eternity later. Alright, sorry about that. So, yeah, so these guys are merchandise. You can buy their shirts and whatever he was saying. He was saying, yeah, you can buy... Buy stuff like that. And I was like, sweet, that's cool. Uh, but he continued on, and he's like, okay, it's like 65 bucks to join these guys on their rides. And I'm like, well, what what for? Like, why? 
Woo! Nice. And I said, well, okay, well, what? Ah, jeez. What's, what's the $65 for? He said, well, we have all the stuff. And he, I didn't get an answer. I didn't know why we have to pay to join these guys on public property to go on a ride that I could go on like I'm doing right now to just ride with a group, you know? I said, yeah, I understand you guys have merchandise and stuff, but, like, I don't understand what you're, you know, I don't know. Anyways, oh, fuck. Are we good? We're good? Every time you see a gate, you just want to stop, because it could be really bad. I had my brother do that. Ran right into a gate with his brand new bike. Um, or well, almost into a gate. Uh, so, what happened? What happened? So, yeah, I was kind of getting mad. I was like, hey, really, like, you guys, like, there's not any reason for you guys to be charging people this. And, uh, there was another thing that made uh, Tink pretty mad. He's got a really loud exhaust pipe, Tink, okay? His stock exhaust pipe was actually pretty loud on that bike. And, uh, they won't take anything over, like, 90 decibels or something. And I was like, uh, okay, that that's fine with me. Like, I can get the Q4 on this baby, and it won't even be near, like, 90. Well, maybe. I have no idea. I shouldn't say things. I don't know. But, uh, so Tink's is, like, 110 or something. <laughs> like, his is loud, okay? And, uh... And, uh, so, his bike's really loud. Well, he can't, they're like, no, you can't actually join the club and ride with us if your bike is too loud. Okay, so, first off, this is kind of, like, this is kind of setting the attitudes of these guys, like, just showing us, first off, like, these guys don't really care too much about the adventure lifestyle, you know? They're more of just, oh... Actually, no, it's the opposite. They, they're they caring too much about the adventure lifestyle. I gotta stop. Where do I? That guy almost hit me. Okay, more about the adventure lifestyle. And, uh... Me and Tank don't want anything to do with that. We're like, dude, like, if all you care about is how you look to others and, you know, just being in a group and making money. Like, these guys are making a profit off the dual sport riders of Kamloops, okay? Now, I'd understand if it was private land and, uh, you know, uh, we had to go to some farmer and be like, dude, you own, like, 2,000 acres. Can we, like, drive on it? You know, and then pay that guy. He wants 65 bucks from every one of us just to drive on this specific trail part nowhere else. I'd understand that, but it's literally just a ride through Crown Land. So, yeah. Anyways, Dual Sport BC, I like some of the guys that are on there. The guys that are on there like it just because they fit in. Like, they have the bikes, they have the requirements or whatever, and they can't afford the 65 bucks. They don't really care. The, and some of them are newer guys too, like me. You know, I've only been riding this bike. Well, I got a brand new in 2015. So, you know, I've been riding dirt bikes since I was like four, but. Um, so, yeah, you know, it. it yeah, it just kind of didn't make sense to me. Me and Tink, we started our own Kamloops group, and we have like 20 people on it right now. That's a lot of guys. Like, some of these guys are from the Dual Sport BC guys, and they were on there creating a fuss, advertising and stuff, and we're like, guys, like, look, I understand the advertisement and stuff, but we want, this is a group that doesn't have to pay, that has a bike, and was just able to afford the bike and the gear, and be like, oh, you know, we can join a group on weekends, or whenever, 
really whenever we want and uh, no one cares. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, that's kind of my view of... I completely agree with Everide. I'll try and link that video in the bottom. I'm not sure if uh, I'll be able to or not, but... Uh, you know... Uh, I'll try and link it in the bottom, but I might not be able to, so... Anyways, um... Yeah, so in conclusion, don't be a douchebag when you're riding a bike. You get on a teeny little bike like mine, hey, it does 140 on the highway and it can climb any hill my friends can. I don't really know what else you need, plus it was five grand right off the floor. That's Canadian dollars, too. You know, like, uh, I don't know. Anyways. Uh, yeah, in conclusion, don't be a dick, uh, ride with guys that like to ride, ride with guys with the same passion you got, you know, do, uh, create a group in your, in your friends group there that, that, you know, you guys can go out and ride, it's all about the fun, community, so, alright, right about here is where I started, 13.5k. It's not actually a lot, but to me it seemed a lot. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, check out uh, my channel and uh, hit that sub, hit that like button. Give me, give me some support. I, uh, I really appreciate it. And constructive criticism. Guys, comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see and what you think I need to improve on. I am not by any stretch good at this, so... Uh, yeah, uh, have an awesome day, and uh, I hope to uh, see you guys in the next video.